Okay, so now we're going to talk about thyroid hormone. So this is a cell, and this is your brain. Not drawn to scale. But I want to show you what happens to thyroid hormone in between the brain and the cell. First of all, let's talk about TSH. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. It's a brain hormone. It's made up here, right? But doctors are measuring levels of TSH and they are suggesting thyroid hormone based on levels of TSH. Wrong. I don't care what your TSH is. I don't care if it's high or low, so much as what I care about how much T3 or thyroid hormone gets into your cell. That's the big deal. Okay, so we need to understand that TSH is a brain hormone. It can be perfectly normal in a person when they are clinically hypothyroid because the T3 cannot get into the cell. It doesn't get in through the little cell receptor doorway. It just doesn't happen, right? That can happen to some people. They are hypothyroid. They're holding on to weight. They're losing their hair. They're feeling depressed. They're losing the size of their eyebrows because they're clinically hypothyroid because the T3 can't get into the cell, but the TSH can be perfectly normal, and that's important. So TSH triggers the production of T, whoops, T4. Well, I can do better than that. It triggers the production of T4. <laughs> Lucky I'm not an artist. <laughs> T, and I did it again. <laughs> I need coffee. Okay, TSH triggers the production of T4. One of the four iodine molecules gets knocked off and it creates T3. Okay, so TSH makes T4, T4 makes T3, T3 goes into the cell, we get happy, we lose weight. That's important. What prevents this process? Because this is huge. A deficiency in minerals. Selenium, magnesium, zinc, copper, these things, when, and iron, if you're low in iron, that's a big one, especially women with heavy periods. If you're low in these minerals, the thyroid hormone cannot get into the cell and you will hold on to the weight. That's a big deal. And your TSH might be perfectly normal and your doctor says to you, oh, you're normal, Mrs. Smith. Your thyroid levels are fine. And you're standing there going, but I'm overweight. I can't lose weight. I'm cold. My hands and feet get cold. And I'm losing my hair. And I have every symptom. I am like the poster child for hypothyroidism. Well, your TSH is normal. <gasps> Tell them you want your free T3 measured and you want your reverse T3 measured. R for reverse. Reverse T3 looks enough like T3. It's the reverse isomer. It sits on your cell's receptors like a lazy husband on your couch. <laughs> and the RT3 sits there and occupies the cell's doorways. And then the real happy thyroid hormone cannot get through because you've got too much RT3. So tell your doctor, you don't care about TSH, you want them to measure RT3 and free T3. All right, got it? That's your thyroid hormone lesson for today. See you next time, I'm Susie Cohen.